great Howie Long once said, if you have two quarterbacks, then you have no quarterbacks. And in one of the examples we're going to talk about, he's correct. However, one of the examples we're going to talk about, he's also incorrect. So let's start off with San Francisco. Jimmy G. Yikes. Not good. Do you know what Jimmy G's passer rating was uh, on Sunday versus the Chargers? 16. 16. That's really bad. That's really bad when Trey Lance is the one that looks better. You know, so let's, so, all right, let's, uh, let's talk about this because the Niners have, they have a little bit of a quarterback problem in their hands. Here, you want to talk about it a little bit? Absolutely. So let's kind of get into it. So obviously Trey Lance was drafted third overall and that's great. And he looks like the super athletic raw person that we were talking about, um, you know, going into the draft and that's great. Like, he does look like that moldable person. But in the first half, he went one for five. The issue with Trey Lance is that he has, yes, he has a very high ceiling. But, man, this guy's floor is freaking low. His floor is so freaking – his floor is Andre Werebad, bro. <laughs> and, like, dude, here's the thing is, like, Andre is, is everyone in the second half was like, oh, man, he played so good. He threw two tutties and had 100 yards. Like, bro, what's your issue? Yeah against fucking guys that are getting cut this week like it literally against third stringers he looked like shit it took he had a couple good drives towards the end of the game but he's going up against fourth and fifth stringers literally these guys are not going to be on the team next week they might have a 52nd and 53rd <laughs> roster spot that these guys are filling up these guys are going to be working insurance jobs yeah maybe. and and, he, and like jimmy g went three for six 15 yards and a pick so like you tell me like they're like oh well it's preseason doesn't matter Exactly. He should dominate. He should dominate. Like, you can't tell me that your starter doing that is awesome. You're not going to be like, oh, it's fine. It's not fine. He's never played incredibly. So if he goes out there and plays like absolute shit, that's, I mean, I feel like that's a precursor to the rest of the season. This is a gigantic red flag. This is not Jimmy G's first year in the system. This is not his second year in the system, nor is it his third. It's his fifth. This is his fifth year in the system. He, he's got to have this shit figured out. He's There was not... None of the stars were playing for the Chargers. Joey Bosa is not playing. Uh, Derwin James is not playing. Hell, even Kenneth Murray is not playing. There's no excuse as to why he should be playing the way he was. Sure. Yeah, okay, so that interception, you could say that, yeah, that did hit the receiver in the hands, but it was high and it was also behind him. So the receiver would have had to make a pretty damn good catch if he wanted to come down with that. Yeah, and look at it. Like, if people are like, well, you know, like, Jimmy doesn't play that way. Yes, he does. Last year, he played that way. He went, before getting hurt, he was 7 of 5, uh, 7 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. That isn't exactly, that's Case Keenum numbers, you know what I mean? Like, like if he's a backup, that's awesome. He's not. He's your starter who's getting paid $30 million to A, I win you games, and B, mentor Trey Lance, and they both look like shit. Dude, I forgot about how much he gets paid. $30 million. He's got a fat contract. Yeah. That's not good. And so, um, Howie, I give you credit. In this case, you were definitely correct. However, there is a quarterback battle that actually looks pretty good, and that's for the New England Patriots. Right now... The Patriots are kind of looking like geniuses by drafting Mac Jones. He's been the biggest surprise out of any rookie quarterback so far. He proved me wrong. So, and, and, and here's the thing is like, not only has he played, like his stats have looked good, he's looked good. Like he's making reads, he's making quick reads, he's hitting people eight to 10 yards, he's money. 10 to 15, he's still pretty good. And the thing is like, people are like, well, yeah, 10 to 15. Well, that's how the Patriots have operated for like, I don't know, like 21 years. I don't know, six Super Bowls. And there's that guy, Tom Brady. The guy that, that was the king of this, Tom Brady, would, like he killed you between 10 to 15 yards. But here's your issue. Cam Luton looked fucking awesome. He looked awesome. He, looked he played really better. Good. He looked yeah. really good. He looked he was, really fucking good. I think good. he was eight for nine. With 100, 103 yards, a touchdown, 151 QBR. He played fucking lights out. And he literally just came in there, threw a few passes, and was like, peace, Max turn. And apparently they get along super well. So I don't see how Cam Newton doesn't start the season because it's Bill Belt. He's like, I got, I got more uh, experience. Yeah, like, like, he got more experience. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to play the guy with a nose. Um, Mac Jones is going to wear 50 until he earns it. Um, <laughs> but, like, the, 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 I'll say this. 
in no situation do I see the Patriots not making the playoffs this year because either A, Cam Newton comes in and plays well, or B, he comes in and plays poorly and Mac Jones comes in and plays well. Like that's the only way I see it. And I, I don't and I and with all the additions they have on defense, like this quarterback battle is the greatest thing you could have asked for. And they have four running backs too. That yeah. helps out a little oh, bit. Oh, Ramondre Stevenson went f- 15 carries, 66 yards. Sony Michelle, 7 carries, 34 yards. Damian Harris, he played like shit, but he's a beast. J.J. Taylor, 93 yards. Yeah, James White barely pl- I don't think he fucking played. Yeah, he did. And everyone plays on the fucking Patriots in the preseason. Yeah. Forget about that. Um, but they look good. Their defense looks good. Their whole team looks good. So, Bill's like, I don't care what other uh, teams are doing. I'm going to make sure that all of our guys are getting reps in preseason. Exactly. If, if anyone gets hurt, it's their fault. They should have taken care of themselves. They, they should have played differently. That's on them. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and um, I think this truly is like the first true time where we're like, if you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks. Because it, like people will be like, well, what about the Patriots with Jimmy G? It's like, no, that was never a battle. This is a battle. And no matter who wins, the Patriots win. Wait, you, you like you didn't think that Jimmy G is going to beat out yeah, Tom Brady exactly. for starter? People are like, oh, well, I might go to Tom. And it's like, eh, it's, you're stupid. You, you are stupid if you think that. You're stupid. So this is actually working out pretty well for the Patriots. They, they, they have a good culture. It seems like it's working out well there. Uh, I, I've heard this from many people that Bill really likes Cam. They, he loves they, Cam. They, they are a deep threat away from being filthy. If they had a, if they had just like one legitimate deep threat, like fuck, if they even had Corey Davis, you know yeah. what I mean? If they yeah. even had a Corey Davis, this team could be lethal. But also, it's like you know, are I'm they literally gonna... looking at the roster right now. Their best deep threat is Jacoby Myers. That's not good. No, that's not good. It's yeah, not and good. you guys are going to be playing the Dolphins and the Bills, so that's four games. They're going to be really tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, Trina- like... Tredavious White's going to be covering Jacoby Myers, and Xavier Howard's going to be covering Jacoby Myers, and you're going to be like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is gonna be Let's interesting to watch. Uh, what's what's the name of the GM for the Patriots? Do you know? Uh, yeah, Bill Belichick. Good point. Yeah. No, he is the GM. Like actually, yes. Bill Belichick is the Bill GM. Belichick is the GM for the Patriots. Jesus Christ! It's like GM, vice president, head yeah, coach. He has control of all football operations. Starting quarterback. Yeah, like, like. Robert Kraft is just like, Bill, do, you do you. Whatever you've been doing has been great. Just keep on doing it. They're, yeah, dude, they're looking eh, like geniuses right now. Like, dude, he's got six Super Bowls. Like, what are you going to be like? Oh, I don't think you know anything about, uh, I guess, like, you know, staffing a team. He's like, I don't know. I've been winning with, like, five, eight white guys playing wide receivers, so I think I know a little bit. Robert, you just got to let me do my thing. Uh, that's what I would. I, if, if, if Bill Belichick said, trust me on this, I'd be like, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry for questioning uh, anything that you say. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, good for you, Patriots. You guys got a good little quarterback battle going on. Uh, 